guys, uh, good evening. Uh, after a series of rain days and nights, finally we have a good weather condition and it's a quiet night. And last days I made a simple BDN circuit, as a continuation from my research regarding the pulse motor. And as uh, I am also curious about the results made by my some of my friends who made also this uh, uh, BDN circuit as uh, their transistor get easily burned and overheating coil so I decided to make one so this uh, coil is uh, by filar type and I'm using gauge uh, 21 for my drive coil and gauge uh, 28 for my uh, trigger coil and I'd like to discuss some of my little understanding about this circuit so if you have knowledge and uh, about the circuit you can comment below as I am not uh, uh, sure if my understanding is right so okay uh, this is my uh, coil this is L1 trigger coil and this is L2 the drive coil this that signifies the starting point of my coil I don't know how to uh, properly uh, wind the real uh, BDD coil this is uh, to show you how I made mine okay uh, this is the starting point of the drive coil this will be connected to our main drive battery and the opposite ends will go to our collector of our NPN transistor I'm using this uh, NPN bipolar type. This is base, collector, and emitter. This is base, collector, and emitter. Then uh, the starting point of my uh, trigger coil will be connected to our uh, base resistor, or we can add potentiometer or trimmer resistor to adjust the current flow for adjusting the conduction level of our transistor then we have our base resistor and goes back to the base of the transistor this will be 10 ohms this one kilo potentiometer and the opposite sides of the trigger coil will be directly connected to our negative of our main drive battery and then we have the rectifier diode acting as a toming functions uh, bypass diode and blocking diodes that will be discussed later so uh, initially this coil or the entire circuit will be uh, in uh, complete off state transistor is off and this will be not yet uh, energized okay and this uh, BDN circuit is basically other than uh, uh, mechanical oscillator will only conduct after passing the magnets on the coil okay uh, supposed to be this is our rotor and this is the magnet this is north and this is south this uh, BDD circuit is not restricted to all facing north or all facing south it depends how you uh, construct your coil and how you install it 
uh, opposite to your rotor so if it doesn't work you can reverse the position of the coil or invert the position of your magnet okay uh, suppose this is your magnet from the rotor this is your uh, core you can use ferrite or uh, soft iron that depends upon your needs or what you want then this is our our coil then uh, after passing the magnet in our core there will be a <coughs> changing magnetic field so there will be induced current on both coils but since our transistor is not yet uh, conducting this L2 here is not yet energized for initial state before the magnet is passing in the coil this will become this uh, L1 will become an inductor so this is negative this is also negative and since diode is uh, in forward bias therefore this will act as a short circuit making our transistor base emitter junction shorted so therefore our transistor is completely off L2 is not yet energized and L1 is not yet energized so after passing the magnets this will uh, have a changing magnetic field inducing current in our both coil and again since our transistor is completely off this will uh, not yet energized and then this one will become positive and then it will blocks the current passing this point so our transistor now is conducting then there will be some delay between uh, triggering our transistor then conducting our transistor triggering the or rhyming the coil L2 so when the magnet passing center of the core uh, this point a few uh, few uh, millimeter from the center this will induce current in the trigger coil then after a few uh, microseconds perhaps while the magnet is in this position with some delay of switching the transistor the L2 now is uh, energizing making this uh, core uh, temporary magnet and this is will, uh, will be a uh, north pole and same with our magnet does uh, have an opposing or repelling action pushing the magnet away it's either here or here depends on uh, how you start your uh, rotor so the important is you know the polarity of your coil when energized if this will become soft you need to uh, invert all your magnets facing south and again this is not restricted to all facing north this uh, circuit and uh, since this is uh, in by failure type and is point in uh, same direction 
this will cancel each other when this energize after the conduction or during the conduction of our conduction state of our transistor uh, if this uh, coil is in uh, uh, in uh, opposite uh, direction there will be a flipping of uh, switching of there will be a ringing effect but since this is uh, in the same direction this will cancel after passing the magnets all these coils are completely off the entire circuit is completely off this is the advantage of the BDN circuit while on the basic post motor I uh, posted uh, days ago or a week uh, this transistor needs a little amount of current from the main source from the main source to trigger the, trans the transistor well this within circuit is more efficient too because uh, it never has current from our main source but from the passing uh, magnets in our coil once there is a uh, changing magnetic field there will be induced current but uh, you need to have enough current to trigger the transistor that's why some of the Bidini circuit uh, some of my friends their uh, project never uh, run because the induced current is not enough to trigger the transistor okay the magnet and the coil with uh, the core should be enough to produce current to trigger the transistor once you uh, start rotating the starting the rotor once it passing the core it will induce current enough to trigger the transistor that's why BDN circuit is more efficient than this basic post motor which needs current from our main source a little amount of current to trigger transistor okay uh, and again to harvest the complete or a fully back MF we need to harvest across this coil this drive coil because when you use this point from this diode and negative it will act as post converter it will still use the current from the main source and the back MF but if you use completely back MF only the induced or the counter MF will harvested to charge the secondary battery okay this is our uh, storage capacitor and some of uh, version of Vidini has a mechanical switch attached to the rotor to intermittently charging pulsing the DC charge to our secondary battery okay uh, let's try to test our circuit or device 